Well, here I am to begin the begin the this lesson, the poem which I have seen, the summary of it in the last video. And today I am going to give you the question answers. Glossary answer the following questions. Answer the following questions in two three sentences each and answer the note in notebook and read them out to the classes. There is the essay question answers and at last we will write about the poem. Okay. The title of this poem is The Village School Master. We have seen the knowledge of that master and the clarity which he had, love for them. Being a doctor, he was able to teach his students. That is what his desire. Okay, let me read the glossary. Open your book and write it on your fairy. Okay. Yon. Over there. Struggling. Spread out. Skirts. Goes around. Hughes is the grass. Severe, sever, or sever, strict, stern. Also, it is also called as a one who is strict. It is called stern. Huh? You can get angry mood. That is called a strict. Tront. One who says always from school without permission is called a tront. Boarding. Predicting. Trace is a mark. Days disasters. Misfortune they have to face. Dismissal is a miserable. Miserable. Kashtakaravada. Tandare Varagada. Dukkha Bharita. All this you can say. Ought in angry in any degree. Keep a code or a strict message. Gauge, measure, vanquish, defeat. Rustics called the villagers. Now comes as the answer the following question. The first question: Where? Was the school located? Answer. The school was located in the area of the village where the various flowers and beautiful grass were grown around us. Second, how did the children react to the school master's joke? Answer, whenever the school master Joked, comma. The children used to laugh in pretending joy just to keep him cool. Question number three How could the children find the Morning disaster. Answer. The children could easily predicate P R E D I C T E predicate the morning disaster by looking 
at the face of the schoolmaster or we can write in the bracket face expression e x p r e s i o n bracket close fourth one the schoolmaster was dash choice are there given kind server kind as well as server the schoolmaster was kind as well as well as server strict fifth one which of the following is not true of the village school master he could write in chipper he could write poems and songs he could measure lands he could agree argue even when he was defeated your right answer is he could write poems and songs sixth one what puzzled the villagers answer the village us could not understand how a small head could hold up a such a large amount of information of knowledge seventh one seventh question why does monivier gorsmith say that the blossomed forge was unprofitable gift answer the poet wished to say that the school master's garden was not in a proper and also some thorns t h o r n s now comes the third one c2 answer the following questions in two three sentences each what is the children's view of the teacher answer the school children were afraid of the school master and also they no k n o w the fact very well that whenever the master went with jokes they have to with the pretending joy otherwise it will be burden for them second why did the villagers respect the school master answer the villagers respected the school master of his advocate knowledge of his advocate knowledge comma they all admired for his ability 
and the skill which he had. Question number three. What impression does the poem give you of the qualities and abilities of the village schoolmaster? A. Qualities. Right. The qualities. Then you write in front. From the poem, we get an impression that the schoolmaster was very strict and kind. Second question. Qualities. From the poem, we get the impression that the schoolmaster was very serious and kind. He was not supposed to be to the look learned the man. In that B, abilities of the village schoolmaster. He was having high knowledge. Comma. He could write and could measure land. Even he can argue with the others. His ability to handle many problems of that village. Fourth one. Pick out the words that convey the different emotions of the poet. Answer. The emotions of the poet were counterfeit glee, G L E E, and also fanfare in the poem. F E I R, F A N, fan, fear, F I F E I R, in the poem. Describe the skill, fifth one. Describe the skill of the village school master, which made the people wonder. The village school master was highly educated and had extreme knowledge. Comma. He can write code, decode. Comma, measuring lands and also arguing that he is of the skilled wondered man. Fifth one. Can you identify the mood of the speaker? Do you consider this poem a serious piece or a humorous swan? Justify your answer. Answer. The mood of the speaker is somewhat humor even though he had to many funds Sometimes he expresses some serious character as a schoolmaster and also he prays to the schoolmaster for his advocate knowledge. Now comes as a C3 answer in the notebook and read them out to the class. First one, would you consider the village school master an ideal teacher in the present context? Answer. We don't think the school master 
was an ideal teacher for the present situation. Second, what are the abilities or qualities of the teacher whom you like most in your school? Answer. Nowadays, in this third millennium or the second century, the atmosphere of the school has been changing abruptly, continuously. Full stop. So the teacher has to adjust for the situation. This is for the fact the presently to many medias are playing the major role in changing the mentality of the students. So, along with the media, we have to hold on the standard of education as well as the knowledge of our students. The last one about the poet, it is there in your book. I will read to you, you write in your fathoms. Oliver Goldsmith was born in the Longfield and was educated in the Trinity College, Dublin. He was awarded the degree of Doctor of Medicine, but he never practiced as a doctor. His major works are The Traveller, that is written in 1764, Vicar of Whitefield, 1766, the discarded village, sorry, deserted village in 1770, and she stops the conqueror, 1773. This extract gives a character and a sketch of the village schoolmaster who taught the villagers there. It also gives an account of the views of the children and of the villagers of the Auburn about the school master. With this we have finished the question answers of this poem, poem number 3, The Village School Master written by Oliver Goldsmith. See you soon. Bye.